coffee is almost done. Will you have one? No, thank you. In case you drugged it, I'm fine. Let's play Teleforum. Hello and welcome to Hula No Play Short in Your Game. Today I'm going to play a game by Monumental, and um, this is a short analog horror story exploring the unknown side of the media. But what's unknown? I feel like I know everything about media. You know, what's going on on the screen, what's going on in the in the back seats, behind the camera, in front of the camera. I mean, you know, with social media and everything, we know everything. So let's see, you know, what secrets still hide and lurk in the darkness. Also, there's a short um, uh, intro to this, uh, which we might read in the game, but let's just read it just in case it's only on the Edge page, because that happens. This video footage is property of community... Community? If found, return this VHS to the station immediately. Oh, it's probably Community TV. It's like a, a name. Uh, Walter Martins is no longer with us. What happened was broadcast live. So why does no one have the same version of the story? Investigate Walter's last and mysterious program. Interview his wife. Inspect his apartment. Discover the T. Hashtag, 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 hashtag. I guess it's truth. Uh, my detective senses tell me so. All right, that sounds... So interesting. I am hyped for this. I'm really looking forward to this. Oh my god, it's German. So that's good that I read it out loud. Ooh, nice logo. I like it. Very horror gamey. Also like the sound the the, the music. All right, where can I set the language? I get the automatic thing. I don't like it. I don't want to play in German, really. Let's go. This looks so good. I love it already. Juliana, okay. This is the right building. Well, Juliana, you're looking. Is that, is that AI? Hmm. Hey, you got the camera on? Oh, choices uh, on now. Let me remove the lens cover. There. I think it's AI. Uh, right. It's best to have as much material as possible. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? Can I? Oop. I can. That is so cool. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Do I? Don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. Did you get authorization for this? So here's the thing. Personally, yes. I would say, did you get authorization for this? Did you ask her? But in movies, the cameramen are always worse than the journalists. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Do I have... Am I doing it like a role-playing thing? You know, where I'm getting into the head of a ruthless cameraman who wants to climb the ranks? Or am I playing as myself? So let's go with the middle because, although, no, let's ask about authorization. I think that's a good middle ground. Authorization? What are you talking about? They never approve sensationalist stories like this. Oh, our bosses don't even know what we're going to do? That's bad. That's how, that's how all found footage horror starts. <laughs> you need to hand them the complete material. Get it? If it's already done, it's harder for them to refuse it. Oh, Juliana. Also, we share a name somehow. My name is Julian or Juliana in German. So it's close, but no cigar. <laughs> it was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What are you used to? You know? I like, I like that she's Juliana and he's just cameraman. He does not have a life. He does not have an identity. He just has an AI generated image. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Celso a VHS tape. The VT operator? Right. Celso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Ooh. Then, bam, it happened. Oh, we're here. Come on. Yeah, I think we're here for like five minutes because I, I talked so much. Too much. <clears throat> okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the light side. Head towards the trash bags. Oh, the light side. Okay. 
Uh, well, I don't know where to go. Head towards the trash bags, probably. It's probably the dark side, right? I knew it. I think it's that apartment just ahead. Yeah, you think, Juliana? You think apartment 608 is the apartment that has the number 608 on top of it? She's so smart. <laughs> Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? Sorry, I'm more aggressive towards her, I think, because it's an AI-generated image. I think. I think. It has this really polished AI-generated image look. I might be completely off here, but yeah. Correct me in the comments if you like. You can film her getting the door and all that. Oh man, I would be furious. You're in mourning and then someone just puts a camera on your face. Also, I think it's not allowed. At least in Germany, they wouldn't be allowed because this is not a public building. You're allowed to film in public buildings, but you're not allowed to film in private buildings, which is where people live. So should I knock on the door, ring the bell? What will look better on video? Man, who cares? Oh, oh no, we should have ring, rang the bell. That's super creepy to just, you know. I wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now. I hope the camera doesn't act up during the interview. No, let's be a little bit nicer. If she isn't, she will be now. Why? That's not the bell. Let me try again. That's a light switch. That's not a bell. Is that a bell somewhere? In what country? Is she even home? Say, did you work with Walter for long? What if she won't see us? Oh, yeah, let's ask about the background story. I want to know. Some. Four years. That's a lot. That's a long time. I mean, for modern work phases. I'm. Um, this hit me hard, too, you know? I want to do something for him. By bothering his widow, Juliana? That's a shitty job at doing something for someone. And take advantage of the situation in the process? Yeah, exactly, random cameraman. Sure, he'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense for opportunity. Yeah, but come on. Alright, third time's the charm. What do you want, Adriana? Hi, Mrs. Martins. I don't know why it shows that voice. I'm so sorry, Adriana. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? I'll, I'll lower her voice a little bit, make it softer. We're making a special program about Walter. So all the voices will be the same, that's how it is. I can't act. An homage, a kind of retrospective, you see. He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. Homage? Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need the raw material. Come on, before she changes her mind. Man, I would I would turn around. That Everything feels sketchy and horrible about it. I mean, this entire situation is gross. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. You know, why you're standing in the shadow, loomly, loomingly. Mm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Silva! He has a name! Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Oh man, what? What's that? Look at these certificates. Journalism degrees from UFRGS, specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Miss Martins is just the same. Is it Mrs. Martins? It's Mrs. Martins, right? Sorry. What a waste. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? Uh, whoa! Cool! Cool, cool, cool! Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not a very appealing scenery. I don't even know what it is. It looks like... I don't know. It looks like a turnip. Plus it's out of focus. This photo has a story behind it, I can feel it. 
I might ask about her about it during the interview. What's that? Look at Daily Trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Whoa. What's this? There's a painting here. I think Mrs. Martin's painted this. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. Uh, well... We can It's. Is it gonna rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Uh-huh. Ah, these roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we can use this take to set the mood. What country does this play in? This feels like something... Where this is usual with the rooster? I've never heard of it. Hey, that TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Whoa, VCR player. Fancy. How much is one of these going for now? Some two million cruzeros? Okay, we got a lead. <laughs> Where do you have a Cruzeiro currency? I don't know. I don't know. More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Actually, it's you can get them quite cheaply uh, nowadays. Um, VHR players. I remember Walter bought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right? The image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the, the thing. I remember he got cheated out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Coffee's almost done. Okay, so we got it. We can't get everything. That's interesting. Will you have one? No, thank you. In case you drugged it, I'm fine. Feel free to have one if you change your mind. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great, we'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on the chair, Silva. I like that she's always in the shadows. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. We're here with Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Ooh, Certificates. You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can say so. I studied quite a bit. History, theatre. Theatre? I met Walter at an eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad diction. Nobody knows, notice it, it today. Notice it. Pshh. Well, guess who also has bad diction? Okay. <laughs> Nobody notices it today. His articulated speech. That was my gift. The blurred photo. You have a rather peculiar picture in your living room. Ah, that was the first picture I took with the two of us. I put the camera on a tripod and set it all up to take our picture. Then, well, this lapwing showed up out of nowhere. I think we were too close to its nest. The bird got furious and attacked the camera right when it took the picture. Then it attacked us. That was the result. A portrait neither of us appear in. From yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny we had it framed. That's kind of cute. I used to find it funny too. But not anymore. The expensive VCR. I noticed you have a brand new VCR. I'm just curious. I know Walter was quite the cinephile. What did he enjoy the most? Ma'am, can you ask about something else? Huh? Uh, sure. You're yeah, the boss. Uh, the weather rooster! There was a storm then, right? Yes. I mean, I remember lightning struck nearby here, right when... When... Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins, we have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous. I never expected him to... No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The... 
The gun, the one you used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? Oh, Okay. Hmm. I don't want to choose. This is all horrible. Uh, let's go with the poison. What? How can that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? Celso examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't the tape, not the original one. There was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? It's the ring! She'll go. She'll get out of the TV, will she? Yes, here. Don't watch it! I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home. When the small hours of the morning. So we watched it a lot? Which is funny, we recently played a game that was about like forbidden videos. Huh. You want to watch it, don't you? For your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I would not. I am going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Uh, are you crazy? I'm no, I, wa I want to see what happens. So, um, you know, yeah, just gotta see what the hell is going on here. I would not. I would go. I wouldn't even be in here, to be as honest. Like, I could not have a job where I disturb widows. Uh, I do that in my spare time. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. Ooh, that's... Ooh, that's so good! Right, let's make some room here. Alright, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all on editing later. Wouldn't we film her though from the front? So now we don't see her expression, so we just see her back. There, I press play. It's starting. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. These symbols... I... I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Uh, I feel like I can almost understand them. Looking at them makes my head hurt. Yes! Me, it's the eyes. Ooh. Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Um, looks like a, it doesn't look like a shopping mall at all. Neither, nor like a museum. Either like a prison or like a school. I would go with prison because it's very greenish and tight. Prison. Inside the cells. Are those... Are those people? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy, he looks... He looks... Did you get that? I turn up the volume. No, you can turn it down. Doesn't sound like any of these three. 
so I'll take the weirdest one. Chard? Who's Chard? Oh, sorry, I should have read out loud, sorry. Really hurt that? I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Don't, Juliana, no. It's too loud. Hey, you okay? Zero reporter, okay. Okay, we're in the right building. Look, she looks horrible now. Okay, interesting. So they looked for the building that was in the video. Is the camera on? Let me remove the lens cover. Okay, hurry up. Oh no, it's a, it's a loop. But she looks worse. She didn't look like that before, right? Let me get the button. Sixth floor, apartment 608. And she gets the button now. You look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, I... W I j you look different today. <laughs> that is so mean. But I wanna. I wanna. I changed my makeup. No. <laughs> okay. It's so... That's such a good idea. Ooh. Let's get to the 608 already. I mean, I already know where it is. Oh, I, should, I could have gone to the win- Oh god, I'm a doofus. There's the apartment. Finally. I'll do the talking. It's more relentless now. Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events? Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. What's going on? There's something off here. Yeah, there is. That's what we'll find out. Come on, get in. Hmm? We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll go make something anyway. Oh, there's a dog! No, let's just... God damn it. We have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. That wasn't before. Here before. Oh. Hey, gunpowder. Oh, there was something on the bottom of the screen. Maybe that was gunpowder before? He seems a little nervous, uneasy. It's weird that cameraman knows Silva, knows the name, because I did not see the dog before. Because if I had, you know, I would have talked about it. Or is he afraid? So many books. Hmm. Huh. There's one missing. It's a different... That's weird. Teleform. Something about this TV set gives me the creeps. Looks like it's going to rain after all. Funny. We had a clear sky the whole day. Hey. There's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. Um. What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? Don't do it. If it's a... A, a hoof iron. Don't know what's called. That you have on horses. A horseshoe. Jesus. 
um, then you should keep it there because it, it uh, is a good luck charm. Although I know that usually it should be the other way around, which was always where I thought, oh, this, this is so much more difficult to hang it around this way in the U shape because otherwise you could just hang it, you know, on a nail. But all right, so take it down. It's getting on my nerves. Let's do it because you won't do that. What the hell? I want, I want the bad ending. <laughs> I want the bad ending. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? What do I do with this now? I don't care, as long as it's away from me. <gasps> is she possessed? <laughs> what kind of plant is this? No idea, man. It's well taken care of. I think Mrs. Martins didn't let the tragedy affect her routine. Maybe it's what's keeping her functional right now. There. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes. I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? I don't have time for this, but... Fine, you're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. Jesus. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. Interesting! Ah, there she is. Deep breaths. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. No, focus. If I do a good job, I can help Mrs. Martins feel a little bit better. Yeah, that's what I want to believe, at least. Mrs. Martins? What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. Or your program. Should the girl be asking the questions? Actually, I got worried about you, ma'am. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. People will stop at nothing. Ugh. Fine, let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How are you doing? Terrible. I haven't slept since, you know. Maybe I should have seen it coming. The atmosphere at home changed ever since that tape showed up. He would watch it many times a day, locked up in the room. He'd say he'd almost get it, but never showed me anything. Maybe he wanted to understand what was being said. He never showed it to me. Uh, all questions are great! Damn it! Because this is quite long, I will not play it through once more, but, oh man, this is so cool. Do you know where the tape came from? I want to ask all of these questions. But let's ask this. No, we need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. Ooh, Walter collected movies, hard to find films, recordings. I thought it was just another one. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing. Makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? Huh, I wouldn't know. No, isn't that why you came here? I mean, isn't that what the story's about? I don't remember. Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I, I could swear I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Mm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Um... Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my task. I can, but... Uh... So you choose to omit yourself, right? 
No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape. From this whole thing. It really didn't cause anything positive until now. That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating the story you're working on? Or is it something else? I know my answers are all over the place. One time I'm like, I'm not interested in the tape. Next one I'm like, we need to investigate this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going with the one where I feel like maybe that's interesting, you know, regarding the reply. So there's no rhyme nor reason to any of this. And if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right. I, I want to know. It is. That's the reason. It's necessary. And if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right? What? I'm not sure right is the concept we're looking for. What I do know is that you two being here is making me apprehensive. I don't want to ignore this feeling. I, to be honest, I've been questioning how things have been progressing. I can't just not do my job because of how I feel. I think it's best that we end this here. No, no, let's do the first one. Well, I don't want the story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. You serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you. I don't care. Here. A little push out the window. Throw the camera. Yeah, let's do it. to reach the apartment. The apartment. Which apartment? Uh, shit! I know 608, I think. Yes, that was it. I had someone else with me. Ch Ju Juliana. That's right. The bitch. What? what? Where does that come from? That tape. What I saw in it was seeing and for I, w I watched an unrecorded nightmare. No, it was recorded, obviously. Was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. All of this sucks. I will take the first one. Those two I don't like. They're like wishy washy 16 year old being emo stuff. So I, I take the first one. And if it was not recorded. Can I ever awake from it? Ooh, but it's recorded, so we watched the VHS, the apartment. She stayed there. But did he throw himself out of the window as well? Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Oh, it's the dog! Oh, uh, the sound. Do I really want to follow it? Yes, I need to go on. What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge. But there's a grate. I need to see what's in there. Oh, that's her. Hmm. Where... Where's she going? Wherever it is. I don't want to go there. No. No way. I don't want to be here. I have to leave. Weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? The smell. It's stronger here. Follow the smell. Is this the apartment? The smell's coming from inside the apartment. Oh, I know what it is. The smell. It's ozone? Look into the smell's origin. Uh, it's like... Uh, fumes? Ozone is a weird word choice. Is it fumes? You know the ozone layer? 
better to record everything. Everything can be used. Wait, what? Poor dog. Oh no! Keep going! Oh, gunpowder? What happened here? Where's the dog here? Where's your owner, hmm? Hey, gunpowder, where's your owner? Am I imagining things? Where's the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh no, not now, come on. Ugh. Gunpowder! Come back here! It's gotten into him. He just dashed down the hall. Huh? Looks like he was lying on top of some note. Oh shit! Go after gunpowder! Go after the dog! Make sure the dog is fine. Gunpowder? I'm... I'm going inside. I'm going, I need to. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. <laughs> ah, I just noticed it now. And it's awful. Say it out loud. The camera carries me, not the other way around. Yeah, it's a me! A Mario! No, it's... I'm not Mario. <laughs> I can't even tell when this started. Oh, that's so... Oh, man. That was a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder? I'm going in. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão Today we'll have a special broadcast in a show. Possibly my last one. E com ela trago um comunicado para todos to all of you. Descobri algo During the last few weeks, I made a discovery that, that has haunted me. Palavras não serão Words are not enough to describe what I uncovered. Portanto, eu vou precisar so, mostrar. I'll have to show it to you. And there's a chance this will come to haunt you as it has haunted me. However, my profession, my work during all these years has been to reveal the truth. If you want to be free, I need you all to know what I'm about to show you. In order to do this, I ask that all of you correctly tune in your TV seats. Do not cross your legs, this is important, but stay at ease with a straight spine and watch carefully. Do not you cross your legs, is that weird? What? Is Okay, it's, it's a weird thing. I don't have the space, to be quite honest, to be crossing my legs. It's a luxury that I don't have. Okay, and then he showed it, but then this happened and he killed himself. Okay. Oh my god, they took this idea from... Uh, I forgot the name. I will put it... Edit Hula will put it on top. Um, then I played... Um, that was also that was about uh, finding recordings uh old archive recordings to find the secret behind an actress and the horror movies she played in, or the thriller of the movies she played in it was really good i really enjoyed this a lot this is fantastic um for now this will be it i will not play it through um again right now i might want to play it through at some point again because i think this unexpectedly has so many different choices um it's very interesting and i think it is one of those games and the the game i was referencing here which very likely has influenced this uh, as well like everything made sense the more you got into it the more you replay things so i think this is the same where you get to the to the bottom of it if you watch more if you play it through more times and find all the other little tidbits of information the general thing what i like about this is um 
let's go back. So that's the gallery. And this is what we found, and this is what we need. What? What is this? Two people have been reported missing. Eighteen has not been seen since fourth. We had a chance to speak with the mother. Do you personally believe that there is some sinister hiding in there? But no, it's a shoe. of course not. People love ghost stories, but in the end, they're just so that's stories. Resident just Evil stories. in just stories. it. Just stories. Just stories. Drowned Lake. Is that a game from them? Yeah, this is probably more like uh, maybe an upcoming game or a previous one. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Sorry, my butt. Um, and I will probably dive into this again at some point. But if not, because I'm a, I'm a forgetful person, I get frazzled easily. Um, I put the link to this game in the video description because I think even if you saw my Let's Play, you probably want to know what else is there because this is a... A, a rare game where replaying it or playing it on your own probably uncovers a lot more content. Um, I like that this had a big, 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 big feeling of Channel Zero. Um, and if you don't know what that is, that's a horror anthology that had the original premise of taking creepy pastas and then turning it into a whole season of uh, with a bigger story. So it took very small creepy passes and then blew them out into really amazing stories and the anthology was four seasons long and it's above and beyond American Horror Story in my opinion um, because the music is very loud so I will stop the story uh, because it has this thing that American Horror Story only managed occasionally and the deeper it went into its season the less it achieved it which was like a feeling of an actual unease while watching it um, and every single season had that and it had a, a much lower budget um, than American Horror Story but it worked with it so well like the special effects and the ideas for makeup and special effects were absolutely amazing like they had such a dedicated special effects and makeup team um, and costume, wardrobe, etc. as well. And uh, even the casting choices were so inspired that the whole thing just wraps you into this incredibly horrible feeling of, I don't want to be here. Um, and the stories are so out there. It's really, it, it was very unusual because I think American and British horror stories have a certain... <sighs> A certain style, you know, um, that once you watched a lot of those horror movies and TV shows, they rarely really surprise you. I think there's a few exceptions. Child Zero was one of them, where it feels like this is something I've never seen like that. This is so unique. And this game really felt like that. It, w it felt weird and it made me feel uneasy and I didn't want to be there. And everything from the get-go was just creepy, you know. I mean, you... <laughs> and that's this cool thing. Like, your characters, or at least Juliana, wants to do all this. And you as the character are more like, I don't want to. I really don't want to do this. I, I don't want to be here. Um, and that's a great setting and atmosphere for a horror game. With the whole, um, whether the story, I mean, it's, it's, it's based, I think, on, there have been at least one case I know of where an actual person committed suicide uh, in front of a TV camera on live TV. Um, I will not, don't worry, I will not link to anything in the video description. No one has to see that, you know, but it happened. So this was probably inspired by it. And then, of course, uh, this was probably also inspired by The Ring. Uh, or creepy VHS tapes in general, but I think The Ring was one of the the originators of this con- well, probably not. You can correct, because I'm quite sure, probably in this 80s or somewhere, you probably also had this concept, but it's the big thing, you know, that you always have in mind, the cursed video, especially since Walter made a copy of it. So I'm not quite sure I have a full grasp on the story, um, but yeah, Walter big old journalist, cinephile, got this weird tape, watched it over and over again, but kind of knew that he didn't want to share it or shouldn't share it. That's one of the open questions. And then at some point he wanted to share it, weirdly, with everyone. Um, and that's when maybe something else took over. 
and basically worked its way that first of all the, te the 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 technology didn't work so the video couldn't be shown and on live tv but also he killed himself um but the weirdest thing is did he though because if everyone remembers that he killed himself in a different way then that's and that's a good idea that's a really cool idea but yeah i really really enjoyed this and um put it in the in the video description how how did you like it what do you think what did you make of the story uh how do, how would you have decided i mean i made decisions to get a cool ending let's be honest because my my initial one would i would have you know chastised juliana for her behavior from the get-go and i also would have turned around at some point and just left the apartment um but yeah what you, what would you have done um also if you're new to this channel i play a lot of any horror games and if you want to subscribe you can feel free and i promise you if you're a grieving widow you know and i'm like a up-and-coming journalist i will go through the through the official channels you know i will ask you before i will call you or i will email you and then probably email you because that's less intrusive and then you can decide if you want to talk to me or not and i will also be incredibly transparent about why i'm there if i'm there for the tape i will tell you that i will not lie about this uh, that's why i'm not a big journalist because that's how i would approach this and that's why i can never get famous with my cool you know news breaking stories but yeah I, I would I would never lie to someone. I would never force myself into the, on, into their flat while they're grieving with a camera, man. That's just so rude. So subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you next time. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.